Governor Babajide Songwulu has announced the resumption of both public and private schools beginning from August 3rd, 2020, after over three months of lockdown due to the overbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. The outbreak, I beg your pardon. The governor announced this while giving an update of the COVID-19 situation report in the state held at Lagos House Marina, Lagos. Asu had earlier or during the week kicked against the federal government's reopening schools, especially with the increase in numbers. Joining us is the Asu chairman, Biodu Ogunyemi. Thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you. It's my pleasure. You're welcome, sir. Uh, uh, what's your worry with the federal government reopening universities across the country? Do you have concerns that you may need to share? Our concern, principally, is that government did not follow its own uh, procedure. Government announced uh, some five, six conditions that should be in place, that should be met before educational institutions are opened. Provision of face mask, hand washing facilities, body temperature testing gadgets, hand sanitizers, space for social distancing, social distancing, physical distancing, and the contamination of the entire environment. What we found following the announcement last, or this outgoing week uh, by the PTF uh, was shocking to us because it was like, as from next week or so, schools are free to, to open. And we found that worrisome because it became typical of what government over the years have been doing, not just this government, they will spell out some guidelines or call it policy. When it comes to the level of implementation, responsibilities will not be assigned. We don't know who will be responsible for providing those things they said they should provide these schools. Our government did not make pronouncement on that. In some other places, some other clients where Schools, educational institutions are reopening. Those conditions, Nigeria, the Nigerian government spelled, spelled out, they were addressed to a certain extent. Provision of hand sanitizer, provision of face mask, basic things like that. The Ghanaian government came out clearly to say, yes, schools will reopen, but before they reopen, we are going to decontaminate all schools, all educational institutions. Then we are going to provide hand sanitizers. We are going to provide face masks. How much do they sell face masks, for God's sake? That government will be shifting the responsibility to parents. This is a public health issue. And where parents cannot afford those basic things, what becomes our public health concerns? I understand your so, point. Now, now, now I am, uh, uh, let me also ask, um, in, in the period of the lockdown and during the pandemic, um, I, I believe that ASU has also been concerned about, you know, the academic calendar and um, um, have there been any moves that have been made to teach and reach students, you know, all through the pandemic? No, when we talk of universities, yeah. uh, we are talking a different ball game because long before the COVID-19 crisis, we had been engaging government on what they need to do about our universities. Uh, way back 2019, February 7th specifically, we signed a memorandum of action with government uh, talking about the need to revitalize uh, facilities and equipment in our universities we signed the agreement that well, the condition of service for workers, for university teachers in particular, which we have been discussing for the past three, four years. Let's put a closure to it. Then we talked about outstanding entitlements that they signed that they will start implementing from November 2019. We talked about proliferation of institutions without caring for the existing ones by both federal and state governments. And then we also talked about um, um, 
um, the, 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 the issue of general environment uh, for effective performance in our university system. So government reached understanding with us before, but one year after, nothing happened. And that is what I meant earlier when I said, government will show, they will show you that they're ready to do the right thing, but when it comes to the point of doing, nothing will happen. So we actually challenge government and we declared a, a dispute with government. And we were on strike from March 9. We gave them two week warning. After the two weeks, nothing happened. Nothing concrete happened, uh, except for a meeting that was fruitless. And then we proceeded on a definite strike. However, because of our consciousness of the implication for COVID-19 prevention and control, we release our members who are medical doctors, paramedics to participate in COVID-19 activities. And uh, we also opened our laboratories. And you could see that many universities have come out with, uh, well, some intervention in terms of fabricating uh, some equipment. Okay. Providing yeah. um, apo uh, apologies, um, uh, apologies. Uh, because of time, Let, let's uh, quickly also, you know, bring in other other things. Um, so, so what happens if the classes are not contaminated? Will the union ask its members to sit at home, and uh, maybe no, same thing for students? Go, we won't go to classes. We won't go. We won't resume actually, because we even have issues that we are negotiating with government. So, we are just adding the, those conditions now to uh, to our demands because. We had conditions and we have the, we had demands with government before now. If government has now said we are going to with one, two, three, four, five should, should happen, and those things have not happened, we won't allow our members to go back to classes. That's clear. There's no no negotiation about that. But we are more important, I mean we are more importantly concerned with the children of the poor in public primary and public secondary. Government should do the minimum. They need to con the, the con the schools, they need to provide face masks as a way of encouraging them. They need to also provide them with sanitizers. You know, how many of our schools have running water? If you talk of hand washing facilities, the schools have grown uh, bushy in the last three, four months. And you want to throw the children of the poor. Where are the children of these policymakers? Are they in those schools? All right, so, thank you. Those thank are the you. Issues we thank you very here. much. Thank you very much. Sir. It's, uh, it's been very interesting speaking with you, and uh, we also hope to, of course, bring you into a conversation as quickly as possible. Thank you once again. You are most welcome. Thank you.